Hi everyone, my name's Rachel and I'm from Proclaim Lismore Wildfire and today I'm going to lead us in the Divine Mercy Chaplet. The cool thing about this chaplet is that it's being prayed all around the world um, and so today we're going to kick this off. It's a, a prayer campaign almost just to um, you know, let our diocese know that we're thinking of them, that we are in this together, and um, that we are um, cautious of what's happening and, and um, knowing that we can come together during this time in prayer. It's just a beautiful time um, for us. So the great thing about um, this particular campaign is that we've asked people to send in their prayer intentions and the um, response was um, beautiful. So just thank all the staff who have sent through their uh, prayer intentions and what's going to happen is you're going to hear your intention um, throughout each decade. This is going to be an ongoing thing as well. So we'll be posting this up every, every Friday at three o'clock. Um, so for those who um, missed out this week, just make sure to um, send us your prayer intention through the Daily Soul edition uh, every week, or you could also uh, comment below on the video. So uh, we're going to be praying um, using Father Rob Galea's version. So massive shout out to Father Rob Galea. Thank you so much for letting us um, use this version. And um, we're actually going to um, speak uh, the first four decades. And then the last decade, I'm going to sing it. And um, I just ask that you be open to that. Um, if you're uncomfortable with singing, that's okay. You can just listen to it. I'm just here to guide um, you in this prayer. But um, I know that with um, everyone being in their homes, as you can see, I'm in my home um, today recording this. Um, it's a it's a different experience, isn't it? But uh, we're just going to go with it like um, everyone has been all around the world. So let us begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth from the souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelope the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus is a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We dedicate our first decade to the following prayer intentions. We pray for those who have no hope at this time. We pray for those who don't feel safe. We pray for those who are lonely. We pray for strength as we all try to face what's going on in the world. We pray for your help to find peace as we go through this together and we will not come through this without the support of others. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. We dedicate this second decade to our school community along with the following prayer intentions. We pray for the community of St. Bridget's Primary School, Kyogo. We pray for our HSC students that they may remain dedicated to their studies and reach out to family, friends and teachers for support. We pray for staff and students who rely on our school communities for their most real human connections. May they find strength and community despite a physical separation from others. We pray for students who might be feeling a sense of loss, grief and abandonment as they grapple with their lonely new way of existence. We pray for hope for staff and students who seem to think that this is undoable. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. We dedicate our third decade to our families along with the following prayer intentions. We pray for our loved ones who are vulnerable. We pray for those who have spouses and parents in nursing homes where families are no longer to be to visit them. And for those who have elderly parents who live away from them, may God keep them safe in the palm of his hand. We pray for our parents who are learning how to homeschool their children. We ask that you grant them patience, care, love, and hope that they are enjoying this extra time with their children. We pray for our families whose children are at home with disabilities that put them at risk of infection. That all our children, especially those who are at risk, may be protected from this virus. May we pray for those who are suffering from financial stress, unemployment, facing hardship, and wondering how they're going to look after their families. We pray for families who are facing challenges we cannot imagine. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. We dedicate our fourth decade to the world, along with the following prayer intentions. We pray for all the crew and passengers on cruise ships all around the world who need to return home or need medical assistance. We pray for those people who are sick from the virus. May they have a speedy recovery and rejoin the world. Keep them safe in your hands, Lord. We pray for those on the front line, health, police, and army. We pray for all the leaders in the world in making the right decisions for the safety of their nation. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the fifth and final decade, we pray for the following prayer intentions. We pray for the many families who have lost loved ones that are unable to bring all of their family and friends together to grieve and hold funerals. May they find peace and healing through God's love. We especially pray for the reposed soul of Grandma Dorothy, who passed away this week at the age of 103. May God grant her eternal happiness with him in heaven. So let's sing this last one together. Yes. 
sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of his sorrowful Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks, everyone. Watch this space every Friday, 3 o'clock. You'll see this video posted. God bless.